In this video, we are going to see the messaging app in I, Mac, oh, Mac, Mac OS. This is right here. So this is pretty much like the messaging app in uh, iPhones. And uh, you have to have the somebody's number or email address inside your con um, contacts right here. So if, if see, you have somebody, you can try searching their name see we have anybody no uh, that's probably because I have not set up anybody so I have D here okay let's go with D and it's not showing up because probably they are not in there new message so yeah they do probably don't have a name just the email that's why so if they don't have the phone number associated in their own iCloud account you will not be able to use the messaging app to send them a message through but uh, the contact book will sync up with your email we have seen in the past so oh the other way I believe that you can uh, type in somebody's number so any random number you can type in and send type in the message whatever you'll send it will actually be sent to them the other thing that I want to do check is this one is the I believe for the voice like you can type uh, yep it is basically you can speak something and send them and this is the cancel this one it's not uh, coming up here maybe because the number is not right let's put a random number Oh, this one is basically uh, for group messaging. You can see that uh, it's taking the other number. We're gonna remove that. So you can choose to send email instead, or you can simply delete it. Now let's see if I can do this. Will it let me or no? Yeah, so that's a, a regular number. Now this should be active, yes. That's what I wanted to show you. So if you were to send somebody a message here, you can choose your emojis from here, images, you will search online. You can see the magnifying glass. The message effect is just like if you uh, have seen some apps where it's, uh, you know, there's background effects. Uh, Yahoo Messenger way back ha used to have that. So basically when you write a message, hi, it's your birthday, for example. You can do that and you can choose what happened. That name, that number is not verifiable, so that's what's happening. So basically, uh, right there, message effect, you can choose which one, for example, balloons, and choose that. And with that, I'm, come on. You see this uh, wheel, uh, spinning wheel? That's basically going, checking if that number is associated with the, within the, you know, Apple network with any iCloud account. So that's how this messaging app works. So that's why it's spinning. And that's what it's waiting for. As soon as it gets confirmation, it will go live up here. Now, again, message effect, balloons. And we're gonna use that. Probably we can because it's... And we send this, now what happens is that as soon as they will see this message, the balloons will pop up and you know, that is the effect for them. Now it's pretty straightforward again for new newer message. If you want to send somebody uh, somebody else a message, we'll click this uh, pencil icon here. And there are some quick emojis, I believe, right here. You, there's a search function as well. You can use that. This is it for the messaging app. Uh, you can use the uh, photo tool to attach photos from your Mac as well. So this is it for the messaging app. I'm gonna wrap this video here pretty straightforward. If this video has helped you, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share, and I see you in the next one.